This is question 11 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Uh, here we're told that there are 200 works at a factory and we're given a cumulative frequency table, which is here. On the grid opposite, draw a cumulative frequency graph for this information. So to draw a cumulative frequency graph, all that we have to do is um, connect up the end point of each class interval. So here it's 0 to 20 with the cumulative frequency, which is 25. So what this means is there are 25 people aged between 0 and 20. Then this next, uh, this next row means that there are 70 people aged between 0 and 30. So what we do is we take the end point of each class interval, match it up with the cumulative frequency. So that's going to give us, uh, so age is 20, end of the class interval is 20, and we are matching that up to 25, which is about there. Then 30 with 70, which is about there. Then 40 with 138. Uh, so 138 is going to be about there. Uh, then 50 with 175. So 50 with 175, which is about there. Um, 60 with 186. 60 with 186 which is going to be about there. Um, 70 at 194. And then 80 at 200. So 80 right at the top. Um, then what we need to do is connect these points either with a curved line or we can also use a ruler. It doesn't actually, actually matter. I'm going to use a ruler because I think it would be difficult um, to do this on with a, a small scale. So connecting these points with a ruler or with a curved line, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, and that's part A done. Uh, now part B, it says that Graham says 10% of workers at the factory are older than 65. Is Graham correct? A uh, couple of ways that we could do this. Uh, first of all, we could work out um, we could work out 10% of 200. Uh, so let's do it like this: 10% of 200, which is 20. Okay. So what we would be expecting is that if 10% of the workers at the factory are older than 65. That if we were to go up from 65 and go across, we would come out at about 180. Okay, because that would indicate that at 65 there were 20 people who are older than 65. So let's do that now. So we're going to draw a line from 65 up to our cumulative frequency graph. Then draw a line going across, and what we can see, what we can see here is that when we when we do this, and obviously it's not great in terms of scale what we've drawn here, but when we do this, we can see that clearly there are only approximately what does that look like? Perhaps mm, between ten, nine, eight, seven something around there, only that many people are going to be older than 65 because we're interested in that part there. So we're saying that say 191 or 192 people are less than 65. Older than 65, we're saying that that's 10, 9 or however many it comes to. So what we can say is that using a graph, is Graham correct? The answer there is no. And the reason why is because we could then say that there are um, there are nine people older than 65, <clears throat> uh, and that is which is less than 20. Um, so final answer: No, there are nine people um, older than 65 and that is less than 20.